Ladies and gentlemen, we continue with the action and we're going to move into the men's light heavyweight division. And this one will be raw. Let's get over to Bruce Buffer to walk us through this. Ladies and gentlemen, this next match is three rounds in the UAL light heavyweight division. Introducing first, with a high hook arm fighting style, 15 inch forearms, 19 inch biceps, standing five feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. From Grain Valley, Missouri, he is the two time national champion and the UAL2 left handed light heavyweight tournament champion and also the number four light heavyweight contender, Ryan the Pitbull Clark. Ladies and gentlemen, Ryan the Pitbull Clark from Kansas City is absolutely buzzing about this match. He wants it badly. He feels like he's in the best shape of his career. And the pit bull looks awesome tonight, Michael. Absolutely. Um, and Ryan his Clark. opponent with a top roll, arm fighting style, 14 inch forearms, 18 inch biceps, standing six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds from Los Banos, California, the UAL2 light heavyweight tournament champion and the number five light heavyweight contender, Michael the Boss Boss. Ladies and gentlemen, Michael the Boss Boss is in the house. This is a huge light heavyweight. He's got massive hands, long forearms. The leverage is definitely in his favor. The man at the, in the stripes is the rattlesnake. Harold Ryder. Both these men supremely confident. Michael Todd with us, the super heavyweight champion of the world. And Mike, on paper, this may be the most entertaining and closely contested match on the card. Oh, absolutely. I couldn't echo the sentiment more. And everyone at home hoping that Mike can keep his head together and not foul out. I'm sure he feels the same, but a nervous young man. We slip and we get to the straps. You know, Ryan wants to get in that strap. He got there. Not sure that, you know, who knows? Michael might be a great strap puller. I'm not as familiar with him. He certainly didn't seem shaken up at all by the verbal assault that Ryan threw into him there. He met it right in the center of the table, and you could see the hair on his back stand up. He wanted to go to war. It looks like we're just a few seconds away from that happening. Are you ready? Go! On the way we go. Oh. Boss is away. Unbelievably fast. Bam! The California kid is fired, Mike. Look at the daggers he puts into Clark there. Let's look at that on the replay. Oh my God, here we go. They close the hands, they take off. Ryan's wrist gets compromised. He's shocked by that. He sets up, he tries to get in. Boss surges to the pad again and finishes him. But now this is, this is just starting. These are two fired up individuals right now. I think Ryan felt that Boss got a little jump start there, but the man from California is revved to the max. Oh, the Jericho. Oh, absolutely. But I mean, like I said, who knows what Ryan's going to try now? He may, he may try to force it inside. He may try to just hit with a lot more side pressure. Um, he may go backwards. I mean, he, his wrist got compromised in that last match. Will it happen again? You know, generally the rule of thumb is once your, once your wrist goes back, it's going to go back every time. But you know, there are there are exceptions. And I think Pride kept. Ryan hanging in there, a little bit of the fact that he knew he only had the, the three rounds, as you say, but the pressure is on for the young man from Kansas City. Oh, absolutely. I mean, that's exactly how this is. You know, he only has this one opportunity right here. He's got to come out on top. Big drive, and he does so hard. Game position. And Ryan Clark is talking to him. Oh! Oh! Go home. And that's champion's response. Look oh, at absolutely. That. Check him out right here, talking to the man. Bang! Smashes to the park. And Michael Todd actually, you, you've been in, involved in 
slam finishes yourself, but I think that was about as hard as it gets. Yeah, that's that's a pretty solid slam right there. And I don't, I don't know if I'm more I don't know if I'm more impressed with the slam or the reaction after he slammed him. You know? that, that slam was so hard. That, look at that man, is he fired up? Michael Voss actually let go yeah. when that went to the pod because he knew what was coming. We find ourselves back in the referee's grip again. Down goes the first hand. We, we the second will follow. Look at the focus on the face of the boss, Michael Voss. Oh, no, where we go, massive oh, drive. Oh, oh, Ryan Clark goes on to the yeah. runner, but he gets the pin. He'll know yeah. he's on the runner. Yeah. yeah running foul. The opportunities. Yeah, the running foul. Rematch. Look Ball. at this. Ball Big drives in there with a hard shoulder press, shoves his pad wow. off the pad. Ryan Clark lets him know that's not where he wants to be and go ahead and puts him to the pad. Just the Down go the Just hands. The this starts right so there. important. Both men has the capability to beat the other. No. On the way we go, slip. Nothing there. Head. We're going <laughs> to the strap. Like All right, let's go, gentlemen. All right, all right here, dude. I had this together. Together. <laughs> <laughs> what? For punishment. The strap being applied, Mike. Now, when we saw that earlier today for Michael Voss in round one, it looked good, but Ryan Clark now looks like he has a very, very renewed vigor. Voss trying to work that hand. He's taken up a very high position on the thumb. Clark not happy, visibly shaking his head there. Contesting that. Get it over there. Here we go. No. On the way we go, we are D. Yeah. D. Yeah. Deep inside yeah. and there's the pin. Is the pit bull. Ryan Clark with the win. Clark with the win. And we'll go to Buffer for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm here with the pit bull, Ryan Clark. You've every right to sweat, brother, because that was a war. Let's raise it up for the pit bull, an incredible battle. We knew coming in when we spoke yesterday about this match, you told me you knew this was going to be intense and you knew that Mike represented a serious threat. And it's fair to say that he rattled you early today. Yeah, yeah, he did. Uh... Mike's a big man. He's got a lot of tools for this game. And uh, I wasn't going to underestimate him, but he out hit me on that first one. So I knew I had, I had to fire it up and bring it back, you know. Now, it looked like you wanted to be in the strap match early, but when you went to the straps, you were punished for it. Were the nerves really jangling there, or did you just think you'd made a mistake? Well, I did make a mistake. I, I let him go before me, and that's not usually like me. But uh, he fired me up, and that's what I needed. You came in so fired, and after you got that first win, it looked like you looked out into the crowd and you wanted to try to take away Mike's spirit and soul. I came here to take the man's soul. You know, I'm a Midwest boy. These Cali guys, these Coast guys, these Coast guys always show up, you know, California this, California that. I'm a Kansas City, Missouri boy, farm boy. So when they come out, we like to take everything they got. Ladies and gentlemen, rev it up and rip it up for the pit bull. 